What is going on with y'all out there on this late night? For some it's Friday, for some it's still Thursday, but yo, Drake dropped off a new mixtape. I don't really want to call it a mixtape. I, I get tired of this nigga doing that shit where it's like it's not an album, it's a playlist, it's not an album, it's a mixtape. But anyway, so I was on Twitter earlier, like, you know, most people are, and it was like a rumor that Drake was dropping a surprise mixtape. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what the fuck? We didn't know shit about nothing. And I'm like, bullshit. A few hours go by, and then Drake just said, fuck it, since the cat's out the bag. And he made the announcement throughout the little cover art track list. And I'm looking through it, and I'm like, all right, some of these songs, you know, they just basically Lucy's and shit that people heard on live and everything like that. The main song, Pain 1993 featuring Playboy Cardi, it really wasn't worth the wait. You know, not saying that because that's the, you know, what everybody was saying. It's like, nah. I'm a fan of Drake and I do appreciate what Cardi does for I guess mumble rap or whatever but that 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 really wasn't it you know what I mean so I'm like all right whatever what else on this bitch so we got when to say when Chicago freestyle Tootsie Slide um war and I'm like damn these are records that motherfucker we already heard so it's like why the artists you niggas gotta stop doing that shit man when you piss some shit out and it's still on soundcloud or whatever niggas can go get it i get it you pin it and you know together with one package i understand that but it's just like yo we need way because there's so many leaks that happen with drake where it's like some of the songs i feel like should have been on this project but anyway so getting into it and i'm like all right it ain't that many records it's cool but the thing i will say taking away from it is between since views more life scorpion this is kind of a little bit more digestible in a sense if you want to call it that because some of them shits was like it wasn't it is that jojo simmons what the fuck kind of movie is it first you see Vado and now you got jojo simmons in this bitch excuse me y'all i'm watching this movie on the streaming platform called king of newark <laughs> he got jojo simmons on the corner like he a dope boy like that know what i'm saying whatever let me get back to this shit but um yeah so i'm like i'm going to it listening to it and i'm like oh, it's not bad i ain't really fuck with every song i'm not going front so let me just go to my playlist and y'all check out the songs that made my playlist or whatever the case may be where that shit at i think it's like eight records i took away from it Nothing really too major. I took, of course, Pain 93, Desires featuring Future, Landed, D4L featuring Future and Thug, Losses from Florida with Love, Demons, War, and Chicago Freestyle. So them basically the joints that I took off the project or whatever, what have you. But um, this shit was, it was, it was decent. It wasn't nothing too bad. You know, it's just something to hold motherfuckers over. He already talking about he got the album done, the album posted drop you know summer 2020 i don't believe that shit because i don't even think the world will be back the way it's supposed to be to actually enjoy the music you know what i mean but eh, it's better i mean it's, it's kind of you know better than scorpion but i feel like whoever decided to pit these songs together for this shit they did an okay job but it's like yo i still feel like it's so many other leaked songs that's out there that was like dope as fuck and i'm like damn i don't hear none of them shits you know um so i really don't know what to say it's really nothing to you know say about the project itself it's like it's it's, i guess it's a mixtape you know i guess a playlist whatever you want to call it a lot of people seem to dislike the fact that chris brown and drake is on the same record and i'm like didn't they do a song before with that video where drake was doing that goofy ass dance so i didn't understand that hate but it's like all right they had beef over a bitch they didn't talk to each other for years and you know they kind of got cool whatever so song ain't that bad now what i didn't like about this shit the demons record all right fine niggas is fucking with it but that whole drill shit that argument people go back and forth from saying new york niggas stole the sound from the uk niggas but we know drill originated in goddamn chirac you know, you can debate whether you want to say Pac-Man, Louis, or Sosa. You know, Drill existed, but let's say Sosa put it on the map, fine. So when Drake does that whole taking, how y'all say, culture vulture type shit, and I'm like, damn, so people ain't fucking with French because he got some nigga 
named Swipey on a record or in a video, but basically he dancing and niggas talking about, I think the nigga that's actually on this record with Drake is saying that French trying to steal the wave. And I was like, huh, so that's not a conflict of interest. We know French and Drake is definitely stepbrothers in a sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you go back to the no shopping video. So I'm like, all right, it, it, he not mad at it shouldn't even be nothing about man. I don't understand that shit. Sometimes these rap niggas act like girls. But, I mean, I just feel like it should be a conflict of interest because of the Fabio nigga or foreign, whatever you want to call this nigga, which is a weird name, don't really rock with French, but we know Drake fuck, fuck with French. So I'm guessing that what he wanted French to actually, you know, pit the mans on the record, shoot a video, show love or some shit like that, or pit all these niggas on or whatever the case, or give back, whatever the case may be. Drake is a different artist than French. Drake can do shit for somebody because it's nothing, you know what I mean, to him. But at the same time, he's still walking away with the sound or whatever, the record, which I don't feel like he even perfected that sound, you know what I mean, for whatever reason he chose to get the most up-and-coming popular rappers and niggas always say, Drake always looking out and pinning people on. No, nigga, he trying to take the sound, so therefore he'll give a nigga a shot to get on the record. At the end of the day, we understand you're only listening to the song because of Drake. Even though I, I don't know the little foreign nigga, like that and he probably do got a fan base but if it really wasn't for actually what Tory Lane's doing that song I wouldn't even know who the fuck this nigga is so that's beyond the point but I don't like when Drake does that even on the war record it's like man come on bro like this nigga's a fool damn he's smashing her shit he fucking this bitch on the couch is that a white bitch or she mixed no that's the bitch he just knocked earlier and she tried to brush bro off <laughs> oh, that nigga's a fool. But uh yeah, so the war record, I mean it is what it is. I thought that was cool, but it wasn't I couldn't find that shit after he dropped the video for it on Apple Music nowhere, but it's here. And um I don't think that Future had the better version. He didn't watch Drake on the record, in my opinion. I don't think he watched Drake. I was like default L. A lot of people don't even remember the Laffy Taffy record. You know what I mean? So I was like, alright, I get it, I guess, you know what I mean? Um, Tissy Slide is whatever. We all knew that shit was going to be number one on TikTok. You know, even though I don't really fuck with the song like that. It's kind of catchy, but yeah. The whole record he remixed, I thought the way he did the video on Marcy, that song is cool. When It Say When and Chicago Freestyle Records is all right. Even though bro sound like Sampha. And it was funny, I said on Twitter, he was like, nah, that's not Sampha, that's me. So spread the word. You niggas can't distinguish one voice from another one. Y'all wildin'. Um, but I mean, it's cool. It ain't really nothing, you know, crazy, crazy. Cause I'm like, yo, this nigga really don't fuck with his niggas that put him on. Like, where's the fucking Wayne record at? Where's the Nicki feature at? I mean, if you could be cool with Chris Brown, my nigga, you definitely could be cool with Tiger. Cause Tiger, yo, he's been on a run lately with his last couple projects. I think the last project he went out, what it went gold or some shit, and every single on that shit was going platinum and multi platinum and shit like that. Tiger over there on that dancing vibe, whatever you want to call that type shit. That's cool, nigga. Got his fucking hairline and he grew his hair out. He back on his crisscross shit. I see that nigga, though. But we still, at least me, I want to see the nigga Tiger. You know what I mean? Drop Black Dolls 3 and show niggas he can really rap. Fuck all that club twerking strip club music. That shit cool. That shit whack is played out to me. You can rap, nigga. Show you can rap. But um, I know this shit is everywhere. But overall, Dark Lane demo tapes is pretty cool. It's all right. It's not bad. You know, I definitely could run this back a lot more than I would Scorpion. But to me, if you're reading this in too late, it's like the best mixtape, in my opinion, coming from Drake. You know what I'm saying? Some would say so. He just knocked that nigga the fuck out. Did he run in his pockets? Yo, the little nigga from uh, Gridiron Game. That's a BB gun, my nigga. That is not a real strap. That's a straight motherfucking air pistol. Jesus. Low budget ass shit. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Dark Lane demo tapes is cool, man. I ain't really got no problem with it. I just thought I'd just go ahead and put some thoughts out there. I don't know, man. It's just some of the features that I feel like he be having it's like the same motherfuckers it's like bro it's like a Kala album again can you niggas reach out to new niggas like or niggas that you ain't really work with in a minute I would like to see a Drake and Ross record again not that bullshit that he put out there earlier or what last year what them records was I wasn't fucking with the Gold Rose or some shit I wasn't fucking with that um 
I don't know. Drake really don't really fuck with a lot of lyrical niggas. I mean, I was looking forward to him, that Conway song or whatever, or West Side Gun, whoever the fuck it was with. I was looking forward to that joint. I'm like, where the fuck is that shit at? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of other niggas you want to see Drake rap. Fuck this singing shit and all that. You, you cool with that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You could do two or three of them joints that's going to go crazy, get dumb streams. But nigga, you need a rap, nigga. This nigga, that's what I'm saying. Like, he don't never want to rap. It's like, I want to see you rap. You know what I mean? Of course, he talked about the robbery from back in the day, which you already done that before. I'm like, nigga, could have swore you talked about this shit on the first album. You just recently talked about this shit on one of the other albums. It's like, why you keep bringing this shit up, nigga? Fine. Everybody get got. It ain't really a big deal. Why is he trying to blow that little situation up? They yapped your shit. It never happened to you again. Great. You got good security. Jesus, you doing better than Eminem out here, my nigga. Uh, fuck your security. Sleep. <laughs> Niggas is running in the crib and he had... Yo, everybody fired. If I'm Eminem, all y'all niggas fired. You crazy as shit. How you sleeping in your security? But let me just get the fuck out of here. I fuck with it out of a fucking 10 off a of first listen. I'll get this shit a solid six and a half, seven. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think. If you can hear the audio good, if you hear background noise, it's a fucking TV and I got my window open so you hear all the outside. It is what it is. Shout out to all y'all. And if y'all go go back and look at a lot of my old videos can y'all stop commenting on shit that i said back then in the videos like what the fuck like it's cool i respect it i like it great you know what i'm saying cd collection and all that and just i get tired of logging into youtube and it's like if you have a comment on this video that's like five fucking years old can y'all stop that shit please jesus show some fucking support be always asking for reviews and talk about this talk about that hit the cash out my nigga you goofy niggas can go out there and pay these only fan bitches, $20 a motherfucking month to see some fucking tits and ass when Pornhub is free. You niggas can goddamn donate, nigga. Be asking for all type of shit. Videos, reviews and shit. Fuck out of here. I should auction off all my goddamn, my whole CD book. <laughs> that should get some money. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, y'all be safe. Stay cool out there. I ain't editing this shit. It's just going out there. Take it how you want. It's like a little podcast, I guess. One.